last year I had a pretty bad injury and let me share my recovery experience and why I haven't stopped skating. I was skating with a group of people in Canary Wharf. It was already evening and dark and to be honest I don't see that well in the dark and, and because of that I don't feel that comfortable and confident while skating in these conditions. So while I was skating downhill and I've been kind of trying to control my speed and slowing down, I ended up slipping and falling down and that caused an injury in my leg. At first I didn't realize how bad it was, but it was pretty bad. I ended up not being able to walk for two weeks and I wasn't able to go to work. Like I was really lucky that I was able to work from home. And then for two months, I wasn't able to skate. I don't really know 100% what my injury was, but based on the symptoms of uh, when I spoke with other people and symptoms just described on the internet, which I shouldn't use Google to diagnose myself and to treat myself, but that's another story. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! I believe I had either a muscle strain or a mild tear in the muscle, but because I didn't go to the hospital, I do not know how this. Uh, however, I managed to find a lot of information online how to recover from these kind of injuries and because i recovered and it worked for me i believe that was a correct thing or at least close to it so for the first couple of days i mostly just iced my leg where the injury was i was resting for the first week i moved very very little just to make sure that that muscle starts healing and then after a week i started doing some exercises recommended for this type of injury and at the very beginning it was so so hard and so painful a lot of exercise I wasn't even able to do once. I, I couldn't even lift my leg completely. Um, I lost a lot of mobility. I couldn't move my legs the way I was able to move before the injury. But little by little, I really improved my mobility. I was coming back. After two weeks, I was able to go back to work, which was very, very helpful for me because getting out of the house and moving around, even though it was difficult, it was really good for my mental state. And I started going for little work. So I used to take a bus to go to Hyde Park, walk from one stop through Hyde Park to another, and then get on a bus and go back home so I started to was around around a kilometer and then slowly I was building up the distance I was able to walk the first day when I managed to get upstairs on a bus on the upper deck that was like oh my god I finally back on the upper deck of the bus because that's the best and yeah slowly slowly I managed to get back to normal I managed to get back on skate um and to be honest even today skating for me is still a little bit easier than walking. So how I fully recovered in a year and a bit? I would say I'm at around 99%. I still have a few tiny bits that I think I still need to work on. And one of those is getting back my mobility fully. And I think that is a bit on a slower side. Uh, so for example, I cannot get my leg which was injured all the way up to my chest yet. Like what I can do with my uninjured leg and uh, what I was able to do before. So it might sound silly, but gripping my toenails was a challenge for months. Now I can do it now again. When I got back into skating again and I went back to classes for the first few months, I really, really struggled to get my skate on the injured leg and to take it off. So I even had my instructors helping me out with that. Like, Putting skates on while sitting on the ground was pretty much a massive challenge. It was like nearly impossible. I had to do it while sitting on a bench. Now I can easily do it. Um, talking about mobility, like doing crisscross around the cones. I was nearly crying probably six months ago because it was that painful and that uncomfortable. Now I can do it easily again. 
that I'm very happy. And skating is actually easier from day one when I got back into skating than walking. And it still is. Because I find that walking, I still slightly struggle more than I do with skating. But I can live my life again. I can travel again. I can move freely. So I'm just keep working, keep exercising my leg, keep working on my mobility. So... This the injury and all of that when I went pro. Why haven't I quit skating? First of all, I love skating and I cannot imagine not skating again. I'm, I really, really like it. So that's one of the reasons. I just, I would be really sad if I quit that just because of the injury. That's part of life falling down and getting hurt. Also going through all of this experience with the injury and recovery part. It really showed me how many people I have in my life who really care about me that I didn't really realize that I had them. I probably did not appreciate them enough before, but since the injury, I realized that I actually have people who are close to me and who care about me and are really here for me. And that was really, really eye-opening experience for me. Which I'm very grateful and I probably wouldn't have had a realization without having an injury. So it was kind of a good thing it happened. And it's not just people in my life, but also I realized how many other things I take for granted. And I did not realize it until the injury. Then things became really difficult and it was something as simple as buying groceries so i found it really difficult to do it obviously for the first few days few weeks i wasn't able to even go to the shops so such a thing like getting groceries delivered is kind of like we don't even think about it but i was so grateful that i was able to get things delivered home and it's just not food but also painkillers which i really needed at the time and things like a lift at a train station so i don't need to take a million of stairs on underground when i need to get in and out of the station the escalators because I, again i don't need to take the stairs and there's like so many tiny things that i realized that i took for granted and they were just just here but now i appreciate things so much more since the injury and i see life a little bit more differently so even though it was painful experience it was uncomfortable i don't presented and that was a good thing it happened and it taught me some lessons and that's that's my story i hope you found it useful and i will see you in the next video